The Baraktar TB2 is a Turkish unmanned aerial vehicle. It was developed by Baykar Makina Company. It is a medium altitude attack drone that has long endurance. It can be used for reconnaissance, surveillance, and ground attack. Development commenced in 2007. It made its first flight in 2009. During the same year, it was selected by the Turkish military. It was adopted by the Turkish military in 2014. The Baraktar TB2 was widely used by Turkish military during conflicts in Syria and Libya. These drones reportedly destroyed a number of Russian-made Panzer S-1 short-range air defense systems. By 2020, the type flew more than 200,000 hours. This was a record for Turkish aviation industry. This attack drone was exported to Ukraine. In 2018, Ukraine ordered a total of six drones and three control stations and missiles for these drones. Deliveries commenced in 2019. In 2020, the Baraktar TB-2 drones were widely used by Azerbaijan against Armenian targets. In 2021, another contract was signed between Turkey and Ukraine for purchase or joint production of another 48 drones for Ukrainian military. In 2021, Ukrainians successfully used these combat drones for the first time against Russian-backed separatists. The Baraktar TB-2 proved to be an extremely effective UACV and had significant achievements during military conflicts. By 2022, it was used during military conflicts in Syria, Libya, Nagorno-Karabakh and Ukraine. During these conflicts, the TB-2 destroyed a well over 750 military vehicles, including tanks, armored vehicles, trucks, air defense systems, artillery systems, ballistic missile launchers, aircraft, helicopters, radars, field fortifications, command posts, and various other hostile equipment. And this figure continues to grow. This armed drone is powered by a single Rotax 912 internal combustion engine, developing 105 horsepower. It can travel with a maximum speed of over 220 kilometers. The drone carries up to 300 liters of fuel. Maximum range is up to 300 kilometers, operational altitude is 5.48 kilometers, maximum altitude is 7.62 kilometers. This drone has a maximum loitering time of 27 hours. All critical components of this unmanned aerial vehicle, including flight control system, INS GPS, automatic takeoff and landing systems are produced in Turkey. In 2009, during trials this drone demonstrated a fully automatic taxi, takeoff, cruise flight, landing, parking. This attack drone can carry a maximum payload of up to 150 kilograms. It can carry four MAMC or MAML missiles. These missiles were specially designed for UAVs and light attack aircraft with low payload capacity. These missiles have laser guidance and can engage stationary or moving targets. The MAMC missile weights 6.5 kilograms, while the MAML weights 22 kilograms. The MAMC is available with a multi-purpose warhead, which has armor piercing, high explosive and incendiary effects. The MAML is also available with multi-purpose and thermobaric warheads. The Baraktar TB2 proved to be very effective in Turkish military service. This attack drone made its name as a Turkish Panzer killer. During military action in Syria and Libya these drones reportedly destroyed a number of Russian-made Panzer S-1 short-range air defense systems. By 2022, the Baraktar TB-2 destroyed 11 Panzer S-1 systems during various military conflicts. Though a couple of these drones were also lost to hostile fire. 
In 2020, during a military conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan, this unmanned aerial combat vehicle was successfully used by Azerbaijani forces to knock out Armenian OSAKM air defense systems. It turned out that this attack drone is a tough nut for aging air defense systems. In 2022, Ukrainian Barakter TB-2 drones destroyed numerous Russian air defense systems, including the Panzer, Tor, Buk. Unit cost of the Barakter TB-2 is around $5 million. Judging from Ukrainian contracts control unit for these Turkish drones also costs around $5 million.